All right, I'm going to the Globo gym. I always bring my notebook so I can chart my progress. I've got my BCAAs with creatine. That's the Rebuild Edge from BSM. My Nanos and my vlogging camera. Oh, big boy. I also like to pack an emergency protein bar just in case I, you know, have an emergency. Ooh, fancy new packaging. Probably should I check the temperature? What? Mine is 13? Okay, it's kind of like a nice bath. Normally when I go to the gym, I have a plan, but today I don't have a plan. That's not true. My plan is to just have fun playing with my agonists and antagonists so I can establish my weak links. Because if I know what my weak links are, then I can fix them. Upper trap dominance. She's a basket case. Upper trap dominance. Cardio. Voice over. Okay, so my goal is to achieve balance with my agonists and antagonists. So I know my hamstrings are one of my weak points, so that's why I'm going to town on it. Here I'm doing the inner hamstring, it's internal torque, as well as the glute max. Then I did external torque, so this is targeting the outer hamstring and the glute med. I like to work single leg because while well, you'll discover discrepancies pretty quickly that way, I also blast it two legs at a time bilaterally. Here I'm doing internal torque, eight reps, and this is inner hamstring and glute max. Then when I die, I switch to external torque. So this is outer hamstring and glute med, and you'll notice that the external torque is heavier than the internal torque and it's less reps. I only do five reps for external torque, but I go as heavy as I can. If I can do six reps, it's not heavy enough. Moving on to quads. So I'm doing the knee extension machine first and internal torque to target the VMO. Then I switch over to external torque heavier to target the vastus lateralis. Now I can actually lift heavier than what you see here right now for the quads, but I'm quad dominant. And that's why I have right knee pain. So that's why I'm going to town on the hamstrings and backing off on the quads. Oh, this is a cute one to do at the gym, especially in those gym shark leggings. So this is internal torque. So inner hamstring and glute max. And then I switch it to external torque. You can see I go much heavier. So outer hamstring and the glute med. The glute med being a hip abductor and the posterior fibers also do external rotation. All right, here we've got the leg press. Notice I'm doing single leg. Look at all the single leg work today. This is internal torque. And then I switch it to external torque and wow, I discovered quite a discrepancy between the right leg and the left leg. Probably explains why I have right knee pain. So I need to be doing a whole lot more of this in my weekly regimen. Moving over to the hip adductor machine. So I'm bringing the thighs together. So I was able to do 90 pounds for eight reps and that was a struggle. And then what I did is I took that number and I multiplied it by 1.6. 1.6 being the golden proportion to establish what I would be doing for the antagonist, the hip abductors. These are the posterior fibers of the glute meat. And that's 140 pounds for five reps. And I could honestly not do six reps at 140 pounds. And my range of motion is kind of cruddy there. So that could be improved upon. So I'll be spending more time on that machine at the gym too. Okay, moving to upper body. So here you see me doing uh, chest press internal torque. And you can see that I'm using the pec majors for this, more specifically the sternocostal fibers. Then I do the antagonist. So I'm doing a low row here and heavy. So it's 1.6 times the weight I did for the chest press and five reps. So if I can do more than five reps, it ain't heavy enough. Then I decided, hey, let's do internal torque now for the lats. So you can see this is obviously divided by 1.6, what I just did for external torque for the lats. So you can see this is very interesting the way I balance this so that I can be golden. This is exciting for me right now because this is a record 50 pounds for external torque for the incline press. Incline press targets the clavicular head of the pec major. So as long as you don't lock out at the top, it's external torque. If you lock out at the top, that is internal torque. It really smelled in there. I was worried it was me, but it's not. It's an emergency. Look all the mocha pieces in it. Back from the gym, I got groceries. Right now I'm just organizing my grapes. Hit the like button for cats on the counter. Do you want to see what I got for my groceries? Well, that's a rhetorical question because I'm going to show you anyway. So, mm, that one's gross. Ta-da! So it's almost 10 o'clock at night. So I decided just to pick up some salads already made. Although I'm not really sure what the time has to do with that because um, it's not like I would have cooked earlier in the day either, so. My two favorite food items in the whole entire world, bread and licorice. 
I wasn't sure which ones to get, so I got both. Sometimes I like it soft, that's what she said, never. And other times I like it really hard. I've been told you can't get these in the United States. Yeah, that's hard. Suicidal. I bet you Liquorice you had some right now. I truly believe the reason why I'm successful with my diet is because I don't deprive myself. 80% of the time I eat healthy, and then 20% of the time I eat licorice. I make it really easy by not eating all morning and afternoon, intermittent fasting. I don't have to worry about packing food with me or meal prepping. So in that sense, it's easy because I don't have to do a damn thing. The other reason why I believe I'm successful with my diet, actually with my mouthful, is because I do all of my eating in the late afternoon and evening. So that means when I do eat, my portions are bigger instead of having tiny portions spread out throughout the day. I'm the kind of girl who likes big portions. So I eat according to my eating personality. I don't like eating breakfast, it makes me feel nauseous. In my opinion, you're more likely to succeed with your diet if the diet actually works for your eating personality instead of against it and if it doesn't deprive you. I eat 2,000 calories a day, and you can see I eat carbs. I love carbs. I'm a carbivore. I'm not a fan of diets. I don't think dieting works. I think it only works one time, the first time you do it, and then it sets you up for a roller coaster ride, yo-yo dieting, for years to come after that. And now you know why I train to get stronger and build muscle. It allows me to get away with eating more calories without gaining fat. And plus, it makes me a badass, and that's been really, really awesome for my confidence. If you want to learn more about my approach to diet, I call it the fat loss fast system because it's fasting, fast, get it? You can click the card for that. Now it's time for a cat transition. Do, 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 do. New segment, A's for your cues. So the first cue question is, Sarah, how do you do the sandbag carry? How do you get on the treadmill? So what I do is I pick it up first, and then I get onto the stationary treadmill, then I turn on the treadmill. When I first started learning, two miles an hour. Now I'm at 3.7 miles an hour. Look, if you haul ass, you can get it over with faster. So I use my external obliques like crazy, inner hamstrings, glute max. I breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now I'm gonna to demonstrate to you how I get off. Do you see what I did there? I just tossed the bag. Cue number two, Sarah, how do you do endless rope pulls in your living room? Good question. So you can see I'm pulling to the end of the rope, then I grab the other side, and then I pull it all the way to the end again, and so on and so forth, because I've attached the rope to both ends of my extra genie. The extra genie is a portable device so that you can do rope pulls in a small space. Click the card for my video about the Exer Genie. It's so cool. Q3, Sarah, how do you get into sandbag floor press? So when you're using a heavy sandbag, that's my trick. Did you see how I roly polyed it over? This is the 100 pound strong fit sandbag and you can click the card to get the sandbags. So hip thrust it up to the chest and then you press that sucker up using your pec majors. Now pressing is internal torque and I exhale on the concentric and I inhale through my nose on the eccentric. Pressing is internal torque, so I'm using the pec majors and the external obliques as I press up. I make sure that I'm not shrugging up, so I'm using the teres majors as well. On the eccentric, I'm using the internal obliques and the lats. All right, it's time for some bloopers. Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm in cheese and rice. No, Keith. No, no, no. My nose, my nose, my nose. Okay, Coco, we need a plan. Okay, okay. Oh, my spleen. Okay, guys, we got this, we got this. And of course, when I get it perfect, Bean sits in front of the camera so you can't see it. All right, thanks for watching my video. Until next time. Excuse me.
Excuse me. Excuse me, where are you going with that? It's not yours. 